Hello everybody! Welcome back. It's your bestie Lexi here and we're doing another episode of our legacy playthrough with the Steele family. Uh, last episode we got to celebrate New Year's Eve and we went to the Festival of Snow and we played in the snow. Um, so it was all good and we even bought uh, Maximus a special Winston Festival of Snow outfit. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, so now we're going to keep going. So it should be the baby's birthdays today and we might even be able to sneak in uh, Zoe and Maximus going on a date um, and completing Maximus's aspiration. So let's go ahead and get that started. Everybody's still kind of napping from New Year's. So we'll let everybody kind of chill out for a bit here. Okay, so, all right, Zoe, time for you to wake up because Maximus has been doing all the heavy lifting here, so why don't you take care of the babies this morning? And your needs are still kind of good, so. Oh, Puck, honey, you gotta wake up, buddy. All right, I will get Puck fed here in just a minute. And Maximus is off, so that's good. And get the babies all going. Okay, let's feed Tiffany next. Alright, how are we doing, Puck? Alright, let's get you some food. Alright, go get yourself some food, buddy. I know you're hungry. Go get yourself some food. Zoe is still taking care of Tiffany. Oh, Bethany. Alright, let's change Bethany's dirty diaper. Alright, Puck's attention is real low. But you know what? We're going to send Puck back to bed because he still needs some sleep. Alright, let's go take a shower. Let's have you use the bathroom next. Okay, that's nice, Octavia. Didn't you have like a bunch of kids? <laughs> like, you just adopted a kid now? <laughs> I swear, that option in the neighborhood stories is just, it, it happens way too often. Like, no, you just adopted a kid. Like, they, they either adopt or have way too many babies. Like, it is way too skewed <laughs> to having or adopting children. But then if you turn it off, then you don't get, like, that natural, like, progression. You don't get people, like, just naturally having babies if you turn it off. So it's just, like, you either deal with too many or <laughs> you have to deal with not at all. There's no in-between. <laughs> Alrighty, and then once Zoe finishes eating, we're going to go ahead. Oh, never mind. She has to go to work. Oh, no. I missed the birthdays. Okay, that's slightly terrifying. <laughs> All right. uh, so we're going to go ahead and age Tiffany up first. We randomize the trait. Oh, perfect. She's silly. That's only slightly terrifying. There's still a baby there. <laughs> Bethany is independent. We love to see it. Alright, well, welcome, Bethany. We now have two more toddlers. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So, Bethany is also hungry. Um, let's see. And 
let's go ahead and get Bethany and Tiffany some food. Alright, why don't you go grab a serving? And what about you, Tiffany? Alright, why don't you go grab a serving too? Alright, let's clean up a bit. Man, we're going to have to get some new beds, and I'm going to need to <laughs> get a new... Oh my goodness, okay, there's so many things now. <laughs> Alright, Tiffany, have you grabbed your food yet? No, you're still grabbing it? Okay. Alright, Maximus, why don't you grab a serving too? I'm not going to go to the Festival of the Youth until I actually have children because it's just, it's only worth it when you have children. Um, so we're going to wait on that and we're going to wait for Maximus to finish eating. Okay, and we're going to need back the stuffed animal. Okay, um... Let's see here. Okay, so they're gonna, let's wait a little bit until everybody's finished eating, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna revamp this room real quick, and I will be right back once they finish eating. <laughs> All right, Tiffany's done and Maximus is done. Perfect. Maximus is actually gonna go wash his dish. Okay, so um, Puck, why didn't you wake up, little buddy, and you come out here? All right, I'm going to revamp this room, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So I revamped the room just a little bit, because uh, Puck still has some time before he ages up into a child, and then we're going to lose our tiny home perks, uh, because I will have no space to put him in this same room. <laughs> um, and, then we will, and then we have the two beds for the girls, and then I added another potty, and I added the stuffed animal bag, and I moved the toys out here. Um, so we are, <laughs> for the time being, we are okay. Um, so let's see here. So Puck desperately needs a bath and he needs some attention. So let's go ahead and give a bath to a Puck. And then let's see. Um, Tiffany, why don't you play with the blocks for right now? And then... Bethany, why don't you come over here and babble a bit? Now we're only going to do this until Zoe gets back from work, because then once she's back from work, it is date night for her and Maximus. They have now three toddlers at home, <laughs> so we are so needing time out. <laughs> so we're going to speed this up a little bit. All right, and what are we going to have Puck do? What does Puck need? So he still needs some thinking skill, and he still needs some movement skill. Well, those toys are occupied. So, Maximus, why don't we mop this up? And then we can maybe do some flashcards with Puck. And let's see here. Friendly flashcards, teach numbers. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this and I will be right back. All right. So Puck has reached level five of the thinking. All he has left is his movement skill. So that's working out real nice. And it looks like uh, Tiffany is in need some of attention here. So let's see. Um, all right, we're going to cancel the flashcards, and why don't you do the flashcards with Tiffany instead? And this way, we can trade out what toy Puck is using, and we can build the tower. Hopefully he can reach it. Okay, we're still good there. Uh, Bethany is finishing up her playtime. And we're going to have her work on the imagination skill next. So we'll give her the toy. And why don't you go ahead and play with that? Because I need Tiffany and Bethany to at least thinking level 2. And then they can play with the blocks on their own. Can 
good. Bethany is on is going good. Tiffany is going good. Puck is all right. All right. Well, let's go ahead and speed through this just a little bit here. Bethany reached level two. Oh, good. Tiffany is thinking skill level two. That's what we want to see. Looks like we still got a little bit of ways here. Alrighty, got a little bit, a little bit more. Woo! We did it! Yay! Go Puck! Puck has maxed out every single toddler skill. He is going to get a bonus trait at the end for having all five skills completed. And we did it in a record amount of time. Three days left until he, like, updates. I am playing only on normal, right? Like, that's... <laughs> that's so... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, lifespan normal. So, um, yeah, like that is that's amazing. Three days left. Uh, we have completed all of his traits. So I think at this point it's just keeping Puck happy. And when it's his birthday, then we'll go ahead and age him up. Um, let's see. How are we doing with Tiffany here? Tiffany is level three. Oh my God, tiny house is so perfect for this. I love it so much. Okay, uh, let's see, Bethany, oh, Bethany, you have to go potty, okay, uh, are you almost done playing with Tiffany? Okay, good, you're done playing with Tiffany, okay, so, Bethany, why don't you pause there for a quick sec, already level four, and why don't you potty train Bethany, and then Tiffany will be next, and then everybody's gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Bethany, no. No, no defiance. No, no. You need to go potty. Go potty. No, go potty. All right, you too, Puck. Let's have you go potty since you're independent. Oh, Bethany, no, no temper tantrums. You need to go potty. You're going to go potty. After you go potty, then you can have a nap. Not before. Oh, toddlers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very lifelike. <laughs> Alright, and then Puck will have you go to bed. Zoe, are you almost home? <laughs> Alright, Puck, good job. Alright, why don't you go to sleep? I know it's a bit early. Oh, the toy's in the way. Okay, um, let me... I'm going to wait until that's done. Okay, good. Potty skill. Zoe's home. Yay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mac with this parenting skill level eight. Bethany. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Puck, we're just going to have you move out here real quick. And why don't you potty train Tiffany? Who's calling? Agnes Crumplebottom. That's nice. I'm glad your day went well. Alright, Bethany has gone potty. She is now potty level 2. So that is good. She is almost maxed it out already. That is insane. And let me let me get rid of this bear so that Puck can go to sleep. Uh, I don't want to get rid of it entirely. Um... I don't have a place to put it, um, other than outside, I guess. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna have to leave the bear outside for now. <laughs> Alrighty, and then once Tiffany's done, Tiffany will go to bed. Puck, why don't you come to bed, buddy? And at Maximus, you can go use the bathroom too, so that you're ready for when you and Zoe are gonna go out. Now, I think what I'm going to do for their date night um, is I'm going to go to the movie theater um, because I really like that lot. So, and I don't want to have to deal with restaurants. <laughs> and it's an easy way to get Zoe's fun up. So, we'll do that. And Tiffany, once Tiffany's done, go into the bathroom. 
Okay, Tiffany's done going to the bathroom. Why don't you go to sleep? And Maximus, come ask your wife out on a date. Ask on a date. And Tiffany collapsed. <laughs> That's fine. She's about to go to daycare anyway. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, date, we're going to move here, and we're going to go to the movie theater. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is one of my favorite lots, um, I can, I can bring up in the gallery, or I can link there, I can have their information in the description. Um, but it's one of my favorite, like, lots that, that's on the gallery. Um, the Llama Lounge and cin Cinema. We used it a lot in the beginning of this series. <laughs> uh, for when Maximus was doing his, uh, aspiration. Um, so let's see here. So we're gonna need to flirt with our date, uh, which is our wife. Let's see, we need way more romantic interactions. So we should be able to get all those interactions here. Let's offer her a rose and kiss hands. And let's do a passionate kiss in the rain. Agnes, what what are you doing, Agnes? Really? Really? This is my wife, Agnes. This is my wife. You're terrible, Agnes. You are absolutely terrible. This doesn't this conversation doesn't even involve you. Ugh, fine. Let's just go let's just go watch a movie because apparently nobody can have a good time here with Agnes. Uh, let's see, what movie do we want to watch? Um, let's watch, um, there we go, let's watch this one. We'll watch it with Zoe. Because, stupid Agnes Cobblebottom. I was flirting with my wife. It doesn't even involve you, Agnes. Oh, Zoe's still in her work outfit. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can change that. Change outfit. It's weird that they're just standing here. Thank you. Why don't you guys sit together? There's like no sound. <laughs> I don't know why there's no sound. <laughs> That's odd. Okay, we're just gonna chalk that up to The Sims being The Sims. Oh, there we go. Okay. Actually, I don't know if that's copyrighted or not, so we're just gonna watch it from afar. <laughs> Maybe it was better that it was silent. <laughs> We'll just have them. So they're just going to go ahead and watch the movie. I'm going to speed through this and we will be right back with the rest of their date. All right. The movie has ended. Uh, we desperately have to go to the bathroom. Are these? No, these are not gender neutral bathrooms. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and have you use the bathroom. What about you? You're good. Uh, why are you wearing a veil? Um, I think that's the one that's attached to that hairstyle, I think. That's odd. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just leave the theater. <laughs> and we'll wait for Zoe to get out of the bathroom. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some fun here. Why don't we woohoo in the closet? That'd be scandalous. Why are you- don't go talk to- leave the toilet alone. Come here. Why 
this is not working. We're not going to try for a baby in the dumpster. This is, there we go. Let's go back to the date goals. Alright, well we still haven't kissed yet, so let's go ahead and kiss. Oh, that's why, because the closet was in use. She's gonna go cry in it. Well, I hope you're okay. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Oh, <laughs> well, that wasn't very long. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... Where is it? Oh, he's not... Oh, no, he's not flirty anymore. Only she is. I don't think it'll count if she does it. Let's see if we can get him flirty again. Kiss hands. Uh, let's do... Let me go ahead and woohoo in this closet. Can we woohoo in that closet? Okay, so we, we can't woohoo in the closets apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's have you... We're gonna have you do some flirty interactions here. See if we can get Maximus flirty. Boy, everyone's just using these closets to cry in. Okay, good. Maximus is finally flirty again. Let's do the passionate kiss. It keeps going back to the new skill day. Now, I know... Okay, this is glitching, and I don't like it. Thank you. <laughs> like, you better give me that interaction. All right, but let's do a couple more here because we've only got a couple more and then we've finished out his aspiration. So let's see what we can do here. Let's do some embracing. Uh, we're going to offer her a lot of roses. <laughs> uh, why don't we caress cheek? That would be a good one. Uh, let's do... Let's hold hands. And we'll kiss again. So this is our date night. We should be able to be as romantic as we like. Oh, just a couple more interactions and we're done. Why don't you ask a risque question? That'll be our final interactions. <laughs> I was hoping we could woo in the closet, but apparently that's not happening. So <laughs> we'll just ask a risque question. And there's the first one, and there it is! We did it! We completed Maximus's aspiration. We've actually done both aspirations on Maximus. Um, we've done the aspiration for Serial Romantic and Soulmate, which we have completed. Um, Pin Stars, one of the requirements is that a single sim has to m do both aspirations, which we've done. So we are good on that front. Um, now we have to pick a new aspiration for Maximus, and I have no idea what to choose. Um, this one, um, let's see. Yeah, I guess we can pick successful, successful lineage. Yeah, let's, let's pick successful lineage. That sounds good. Okay. All right. So, I, yeah, so we're just going to head back home here. Um... And I think we're just going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching so far. Um, if you've been enjoying it, please just go ahead and you can like the, the video and you can comment to see if there's anything else you'd like me to play. Um, I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!